So this is a 120 centimeters competition blade and I've been moving professionally for over 15 years but I never used such a blade but today will be the first time and we'll try it out. I know it used with a very short snath in the competitions but I, at first I will try with my normal snath. Heavy, 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 heavy. And now this is really new for me. I don't actually knew what is the right hafting angle and nor the right lay. But I know we shall... <laughs> I know we, we need to go like really low with this blade. Uh, like this and then I see that the lay is uh, it's too flat so we need to raise it up a little bit I would say um, so let's do that <laughs> oh, it reaches the ceiling more or less <laughs> Okay, so let's look at the lay now. Usually the blade should be like flat on the ground while the lower handle is here. Now here, so maybe it's better. Yeah, that feels good actually. And regarding the hafting angle, I have no idea what is correct here. Usually it's, uh, the tip should be five centimeters inwards from the base and now it's like 20 centimeters maybe that's good we'll give it a try this is not a never-ending story it's a never-ending honey Let's give it the first try. Whoa! <laughs> it feels super long. <laughs> wow. But brutally effective. <laughs> wow. What a catch! Can take like a catch of 30 centimeters. <laughs> ah. I think the hafting angle is really good as well as the lay. Shit, the blade is so heavy itself. Ugh. It's just for competition, not for working a whole day with this one. Ugh. On the other hand, it's, it's quite effective. But even I get a real pulse out from this. Then of course it's the first time, so I'm not used to it. Oh, 
let's go. So first impression is I need a shorter snap, the lower handle a little bit lower here and I need other shoes. I know also from normal mowing that sandals is not really good because you slide in them. So either barefoot or some, some running shoes. So let's change snap and see how it goes to a shorter one. And for some extra advertising, I would really suggest to use this uh, Innovate X Talon 200, 255 as a working shoe for mowing. They are super durable, really nice. Mm. So first I used the Nordic snath adopted to my length with a normal blade. I am a 172 and now we'll change to this one, a Nordic 120. That is uh, suitable for someone who is around uh, 155 centimeters, I would say. Uh, so let's change and also check the lay as the snath are individuals. So the angle can differ a little bit on each snath. <laughs> Not normally a valid rule. The blade should be the, <laughs> the tang should <laughs> the tang in the same height as uh, as the upper handle. <laughs> okay, let's check the angles. The lay, yeah, seems pretty good. We'll try it. And hefting angle. Uh, I think I will close that in a little bit more. It's just about 15 centimeters. I had 20 before, it felt good. Like that. Let's give it a try. And we bring a measure stick also so we can see how deep I cut in each stroke. First, I'm curious about the width of the stroke. So I know I can take like uh, three meters wide with, um, with a 75 centimeters blade. Uh, so this is two meters, three meters, 35 centimeters wide. So it's definitely wider. But the big difference with this long blade is that I can go so much deeper in each stroke. <laughs> this is something new as well that the tip of the blade lifts at the end of the honing. So the tip of the of the snap. Okay, so let's just get acquainted with this one first. It's hard to not try to get in some kind of competing tempo. <laughs> it's very, very apparent how you just need to use the breath to breath out in the stroke and breath in on the way back. That's normal also in, in normal mowing, but here it's, it's like so obvious yet that you need to do it. Okay, so this is really my first time using this blade, but let's do a competition with myself and see how many square meters I can mow in 30 seconds right now.
No. Oh, let's see. I would have been failed on this one for the judge, but uh, I'm a new beginner, so. Two meters. Four, six, seven meters long. And let's see the width here, if it's still 335, 310. Yeah, that makes, uh, of course, that makes 21.7 square meters in 30 seconds. In one minute, it's uh, close to 44 square meters. Uh, when I do normal professional mowing, I would say I do like five or six square meters for each minute, including honing, of course. So this states that uh, while I'm mowing in this uh, new uh, competition tempo, I'm more or less nine times faster than my normal mowing, but then uh, honing is excluded. Now I try to go in a little bit more convenient tempo with uh, not so wide strokes, but really deep. It's like 35 centimeters deep. And it's, uh, when it's a flat, not so dense grass like this. It's quite nice actually. It's a new sensation. And uh, you need to have a mowing style where you use the whole body, legs and core. I really start to like this blade actually. It's a pretty cool way of mowing. And I would like to take another measurement uh, me, with me mowing two minutes uh, with one honing, I think, uh, included. And in a like more normal working tempo, which I could persist for a couple of hours at least. So let's try. <laughs> nice! And as you see now, I have a little pulse, but I'm not exhausted. I'm just in a good mowing mood. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen meters. And let's see the, the width. 2.6 meters there, we can have another, two uh, I would say 2.6 meter wide. So let's make that calculation. So 2.6 meter wide times 17 meters long in two minutes, including one honing, uh, makes around uh, 44 square meters in two minutes, uh, equals to 22 square minutes per one minute. And that's still uh, four times faster than my average when professional mowing, but then we are working all days and in very many meadows that is much, much, much more tougher than this one. So keeping that pace for two hours equals actually to mowing a quarter of an hectare in two hours, 2,500 square meters. And that's like mind blowing because I used to regard a good mower to mow around 0.2, 0.25 hectares in one day. So now I'm actually really curious to see if I could do a quite easy mode field like that in, of one hectare in one day. That would be a new challenge. I'm, I'm really, really eager to do it actually. One hectare in one day 
is uh, really cool to have done with the scythe. If you want to buy this Hartstall 122 centimeters blade, it's available in, in our web shop. And of course, this blade is only for the wide open, really easy mode fields, not among stones in tricky areas or like hilly. Uh, then we need to short the blade. <laughs> if you like this video and would like to see me doing the one hectare test, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video.